right, let me zoom in, flip it. That didn't help. Okay. So here I go. This is, again, we're still working on section 11.4, a little bit, number 56. And so they tell me, they tell me the rectangular coordinates. Oh, shoot. They tell me that x, y is, and these are really ugly, aren't they? Negative square root of 65 over 5 and positive 2 square root of 65 over 5. I don't know what the square root of 65 is, although I know it's a little more than 8. How do I know that? Square root of 64 is 8. So it's like negative 8 fifths. So let me draw a picture of where x, y is. Well, here's negative 1, here's negative 2. So negative 8 fifths would be eh, about there. And then here's positive 1, positive 2. See, this thing is twice as high. So it's going to be up here somewhere. That's the point x, y. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find, well, r, and I'm also trying to find theta, which is this. And you know, you know that to get r, you can do plus or minus the square root of x squared plus y squared. <coughs> and that marker's dead. So, that's not bad. And how many of you got the answer when you did that? Okay. How many didn't do it yet? That they can't hear you, don't worry. I know it's recording, but all right. So a lot of people haven't done it yet. All right. People that did it, what is the answer? Okay. I'm gonna i I'm gonna go ahead and guess that even the people that haven't tried it yet, when they do, are gonna be able to get R. And so my answer, r comma theta, is going to be square root of 13 comma, but this is the hard part, coming up with theta. And the reason is, again, the book says, oh, guys, let's do tangent of theta is y over x. I want to work this out, OK? So tangent of theta. Okay, I got to take big ugly over little ugly. You with me? Is the answer positive or negative? Okay, I dealt with that. Negative what? Can we just say it's negative 2 without writing it all out? Okay, if we're okay with that, then I'm happy. But it is not true theta does not equal the inverse tangent of negative 2. That won't work. Again, because where would the inverse tangent of negative 2 show up? Let me draw it. If I write alpha is the inverse tangent of negative 2, now I can draw that on the picture. What quadrant is it going to end up in, guys? We know it's either quadrant 1 or quadrant 4, right? Because that's the range of the arctan. And why did people say quadrant 4? Because it's negative. Tangent's positive if we're in quadrant 1. So that means if I were going to draw alpha, I'll show you where it is. Alpha is, say, that angle right there, right? That angle alpha will have the same tangent that theta does. But it's not the same as, as theta. You guys with me? OK. So how do we 
How do we get the answer? Well, again, we know that the answer we want is square root of 13 comma something. But how do we get what theta is? Well, I'm looking at my picture, and I think that if this is alpha, then how big is this angle right here? Remember vertical angles in geometry? Isn't it true that this is basically also an angle alpha? So what can I say about theta? Theta equals, wouldn't it be pi minus alpha, right? You can see that. It's 180 degrees minus that alpha. Does that make sense? So what I get then, I guess as my answer, would be pi minus the inverse tangent of 2. Negative 2, sorry. Is that what they put in the back of the book? Or in the, in, is that the answer they give? Better pull out my book and find out, huh? You guys, it's possible that there's a typo in the answers here. All right? I, I, I think I'm going to check with uh, Dr. Stitz and make sure. Edgar, you see something? Yeah, no, I think they're right. You think they're right? Yeah. Talk to me. What'd I do? So Edgar noticed that the book is right, which is nice. Okay? But not only that, I see where the error is. I made a statement. Here's the argument one more time. I said, tangent of theta is negative 2. We worked that out. Theta is not the inverse tangent because theta is ending up in quadrant 2. We know that's no good. So I said, let's call alpha the inverse tangent of negative 2. Alpha is this angle in quadrant 4. And then I made a statement. The next statement I said, remember your geometry? That's where I got us in trouble. What did I say was true? I said this angle alpha is the same as this angle here. That's true in geometry class. It's not true in trig because we think of angles differently in trigonometry. They're not just things on the paper. How did I describe angles? They are rotations. Are you with me? Let me ask you guys. This angle alpha is rotating this way. This angle alpha, I want it to rotate the same way as theta, so I'll be able to do a subtraction. That's not alpha, is it? Is that rotation clockwise or counterclockwise? Since it's counterclockwise, you know what I have to write that this angle is? <coughs> Negative alpha. <coughs> Very good point. So what does theta actually equal? Not pi minus alpha. It equals pi minus negative alpha. Whoa. In other words, what does theta equal? Pi plus alpha. Pi plus alpha. What's alpha again? Oh, yeah the arctangent of negative 2. So this is not correct anymore, is it? What's the answer? The answer is square root of 13 for my r, and theta is pi plus the arctan of negative 2. Since tangent is an odd function, you can bring the negative sign out, and so the final answer would be pi minus tangent of 2. That's a tough problem. Good one to ask about, guys. Nice choice.